Okay. Hello. It's me, Monster Scout. You know, I've been getting a lot of cards and letters from people. And they've been telling me, you know, I, I really like your story. But, uh, you know, how come you don't have a, an English accent or something like that? And let me tell you, I, I can do English accent. You know, I, you know, I could go like, um, okay, listen, here we go, watch. I'm going to show you how you do this. Are you ready? Here we go. Good evening. Now I'm going to tell you a scary story. A story called Black Star Canyon. This is a story that happened a long time ago. My friends and I decided that we wanted to go somewhere that would be spooky. And we heard about a place called Black Star Canyon. It was a road away from most of civilization. They had an old church nearby and it also had a cemetery from the 1800s. We decided that we would leave, go get some burgers, fries and a drink and then head out. As we left the hamburger shop at about 11.45, we headed to Black Star Canyon. We came to where the road was no longer pavement. It was just dirt. As we drove along, we found more and more that there were no houses. The houses seemed to drop out. There were just only trees bushes, and just the sound of birds chirping, owls, you know, things like that. As we were driving along, it began to rain. You know, it always starts to rain in these stories. So, as it began to rain, and I put on my windshield wipers, and we climbed further and further up the hill, we came to a gate. And as we came to the gate, the gate had a warning on it that said, No trespassing. Turn back. We ignored the warning and we went on. As we passed by, we noticed that it began to rain even more. Soon it became impossible to be able to see anything. I had bushes and trees and shrubbery all around me. And as I was driving along, then it happened. I was stuck in the mud. My friend said, Oh, great! Now we're stuck in the mud! I said, Wait a minute, let me think. Oh, I know. I have an idea. In the back of my trunk, I have some wood paneling. Let's get that and put it under the back tire. So we did. We opened up the trunk, took out pieces of the wood paneling and put it under the back tire. I told my friend, Get in the driver's seat! I quickly bent back down, and as I did, as I was pushing the wood under the tire even further, it was then that I felt it. It was someone had grabbed me onto the back and clawed me. I quickly turned around and looked, but saw no one there. I stood up, looked around the bushes to see, is there someone there? Is there someone there at all? I didn't see anyone. I said, let's get back to work. I bent back down again, started pushing the wood pan in even further, taking my hand and clawing away some of the mud so that I might be able to put the wood paneling even further. Try again, I shouted. It was then I heard a woman's voice say, They're stuck. They're stuck in the mud. They can't get out. And then a man said, Yes, they are stuck. And they are not going anywhere. Well, I tell you, that was it for me. Then I ran over to my friend who was in the driver's side. And I said, Get out! I quickly threw the car in reverse. I went forward, I went forward, and forward, and then all of a sudden the car freed itself from the mud. As it did, it spun back. My friend ran over to the passenger side, 
and jumped into the car. We spun that car around and we took off as fast as we could without hitting any tree in the shrubbery. And as we passed the gate, we looked back and stopped for just a second. Not wanting to get out of the car, we turned our heads and looked. We saw the same eerie white smoke coming down around us. We took off and we headed down to the main highway, hit the road and headed home, and we never went back to Black Star Canyon. Well, that was the night I tell you, my friends, and I have never forgot that. We did go back to Black Star Canyon, just not in those areas. <laughs> well, that's for another story at another time. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you next time. See you later. Oh, did you like my accent? Yeah, you didn't even recognize it with me, did you? Okay, talk to you later.